just real quick wanted to, to ask you four or five questions and um we might would post something on youtube or facebook or something hoping that um your story would help somebody else out if that's okay nice. um how did you find us i've been on a uh, land watch for years now uh -huh. i was i was actually skeptical on buying property because it's some like like I, how cheap i could have got this if i had to pay the mm -hmm. cash out right it, it seems sometimes sometimes it seems too good to be true with those cheap prices i know right yeah that, um so we we do a lot on land watch that's um that's really good but too good to be true can be scary um it definitely can so what um what changed your mind well i found this plot i believe it was like a 800 900 mm -hmm. uh, cash price and mm -hmm. so i figured like i you know i've thrown a thousand dollars away for something you know uh stuff yeah. way, yeah. way, way worse more than that. so uh -huh. yeah so i'm like it's it's and then once i found out i could actually uh finance it so mm -hmm. i'm like i'll pay almost twice as much but this will really let me get the feel for it and i can always buy another property flat out if i'm you know once i see mm -hmm. what it's about and so, you know, we don't do any early payoff fees. So um, if anything, if you if you get a bonus at work or something and um, you want to pay it off early, we'll probably do a little bit of a discount. For well, that. that's why I'm glad early. I was able to talk to you because uh, I w that's really actually my plans with this one being that it's so cheap still, even with the finance and it's still really mm -hmm. cheap. I can mm -hmm. actually, if I find, because uh, uh, I'm looking for an acre now because I need at least an acre to do what I'm trying to do with. Mm -hmm. Cool. And so I could find an acre. I could pay this off, find an acre, and then uh, finance the acre. That'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. We can help you, man. Was it? Um, did we have an easy process in your opinion? Oh man, it was sweet, man. Like I said, it still seems unbelievable. It still seems uh -huh. too good to be true. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So I, uh, it took a few you know, minutes. I, that was it. I did print the uh, contract agreement off, and mm -hmm. it printed in that like pinkish like writing. Right, I figured right. you did that for a security. I, I was reading when I was trying to print it. It said that you had that in there for a security reason, so could no right. third party steal my information. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And we I try to take every that. step. We take every step, man. We're never gonna ask for your social or anything like that. Um, if anybody does, it's kind of fishy. So okay. We're trying to just protect all your info. Um, how does it feel to to be a land investor? To be investing in land and and owning something. You know, I, I actually feel a little more important in the world now. <laughs> hey, look at you. Look at yeah. you. No, but honestly, though, it's a it's a great feeling, especially like being that I can't do what I wanted to with that land. I've already mm -hmm. thought of like four or five amazing things that I can do with it. So it's, hey, that's awesome. Actually, I got a pretty sweet little plan. I'm going to try to like just like. Throw a few trailers down there, maybe uh -huh. a barn or something, uh, and, and a greenhouse, hey. and throw it up on the market for sale like that. See if I can flip my money. Hey, I've got a buddy that did that and supposedly did really well. Um, and that's all I did was buy land and kind of improve it, would be the word, improve it, and then and then flip it on Craigslist. Um, yeah, that, that if you had a pawn shop, for. you got to hustle for Craigslist. So <laughs> right, you can, you can do it. Um, last question and I'll let you go. What would you tell somebody that was on the fence about buying land? Especially from them, us, but in general. I would tell them to, you know, do like I did and find a property that's cheap enough that you can mm -hmm. actually afford to invest in it. And if it don't fall through, it won't hurt you. But hey, you know, you, you got to take it. You, you can't succeed without trying. So you got to try mm -hmm. to succeed, you know. You can't Man, fail I, either, but you can stay. You can stay in the same place you're at. And, that's a good uh, word. You wouldn't be looking if you know it's it's something on your heart, so that that's making you look out there. So you just got to take that initiative and take that 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 leap of faith. And I believe it. I I'm I'm satisfied with my purchase. I'm I feel yeah. like it's definitely going to be worth it. It's going to make me over twenty times what I paid for it. That's hey, a fact. That's what's up. Man, you talking about being able to afford something. My favorite Jay Z quote is, "If you can't afford it twice, you can't afford it." And so, and we we don't want to stretch people. We try to make everything affordable and and within reach. And so, I'm, I'm glad this was an easy process. Um, we text and and call. So if you need anything, holler at me. And and I appreciate you giving me a few minutes, man. 